Hey guys, it's Arit here coming at you with the five main things that will empower you as an artist, will empower you as a creative entrepreneur, and will lead you forward to achieving your success, your passion project, your dreams, your goals. You know, what it truly means to be dream driven is to focus on your goals with just laser focus with nothing else nothing else matters and every single day is about achieving this dream that is when you're dream driven and it also comes down to getting rid of certain excuses and this is what the five main things are number one let go of not having enough money you got to let go of not of this excuse of not having enough money to to achieve your dream to achieve your goal because there are countless of other people out there, tons of other people out there who have achieved massive success and they've come from nothing. In fact, they've come from a place of debt even, uh, tens of thousands of dollars or even a million dollars and more of debt. And that just goes to show you that success can be achieved without a starting place of money. You don't need money to be dream driven. So got to let go of that excuse of not having enough money. Number two, you got to let go of not having enough time. Not having enough time to work on your dream, not having enough time to work on the website, not having enough time to work on creating more, whether it's for your social media sites, whether it's creating more of your art, whether it's creating more stories, writing more, uh, doing more videos. You got to let go of this excuse of not having enough time to work on your dreams and your goals because that essentially means that your dream isn't worth it. If you don't have time to work on your dream and your goals, your goals aren't worth it to you. They are they're not big enough to get you super excited about them every single day, to be able to be motivated, to wake up every day and get motivated to start working on your dream every single day. If you feel like you don't have enough time to do that, it's because your dreams and your goals are probably not big enough that they don't get you excited for life every single day. So you might need to revise your dreams and your goals. Number three, you got to let go of this, this excuse of what other people say. You know, um, this person said this and, you know, I don't know if I can do this. And, you know, you got to let go of what those negative influences are telling you. Because if you believe in your heart that this is your path, that this is your dream, that this is all you are going to do until you achieve it. And then you're going to come up with something even greater and bigger to work on next. You got to believe in this project, this dream that you are working on so much that those negative influences, comments, people just deflect off naturally and you won't even care about them. So you got to let go of what other people say because they will bring you down. They will affect your work. They will slow you down. Let go of that. Fourth, you got to let go of hoarding your value. Hoarding might be a bad word to say when you're sick on video. It might sound a little bit different, but um, like a word that I don't want to say. But I'll say it again because that's the word I want to use. You got to let go of hoarding your value. What do I mean by that? Stop holding on to what you have to offer and give. Just give more. Let go of, of worrying whether you are enough and worrying of whether you are a credible person to be doing what you're doing. Let go of all that and just give more. Give share share more of your talents with more people. Share your art with more people. Share your thoughts, your stories, your videos with more people. Let go of trying to think of whether it is enough, of whether it is the right stuff to share, whether it is properly done and planned, and just just do it. Number five, you gotta let go of the old you. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, you got to let go of the person who 
doubts whether they can do this or not, who overthinks things too much, who complicates things, who, um, who procrastinates, who um, doesn't feel like working on stuff every single day, who, who would rather, you know, watch TV than work on their dreams and goals. You got to let go of the person who comes up with all of these excuses like numbers one to four and places them in front of them and their dream and creates a barrier. This person, this old person, this old you is your barrier towards achieving your success and you need to step into an empowered space, step into the person that you already want to be, step into that leader, step into that dream-driven individual. Because when you are dream-driven, nothing and no one can stand in your way. You are dream-driven, my friends. You are laser-focused. You will achieve what you want to achieve. You just need to get out of your own way. And I know this because I'm speaking to you from that space of I've made excuses of not, of not having enough time. I've made excuses of not having enough money. I've listened to those people who told me I couldn't achieve what I wanted to do. And once I let go of all these things, I started to attract opportunities, people, places, thoughts, things in my life that embraced what I wanted to achieve, that fell exactly into place with my dreams, with my goals. So I really hope that helps you guys. It's some food for thought today, uh, some thriving thoughts, success thoughts. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to this channel for more thriving thoughts every single Thursday. I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.